Oh yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. Uh, it appears, <laughs> if I can pull myself together, it appears that Jim Root is uh, teasing a new signature guitar from a new company, man. Let's get into it. Before we talk about these two guitars and this picture, this Instagram story that was released last night, if you're brand new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as these videos are intended for my subscribers and my subscribers are awesome and they just kill it, they just crush it, they always come back to hang out with us here in the comments section and I get to hang out with you indirectly in the video. So anyway, man, if you want to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much in advance and uh, enjoy the video, okay? So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray, I'm a guitar player here on YouTube and uh, yeah dude, last night I was just kicking it in bed, getting ready to go to sleep and uh, you know, I just like, you know, just scrolling through the old uh, Instagram stories, man, and Jim Root posts a picture of two Charvel guitars and there's a lot to dive into and a lot to unpack with these. So now when I said in the beginning of this video, I said a new company, you know, obviously Charvel's not a new company per se, but a signature or a potential signature guitar with Charvel with Jim Root is certainly something new. So that's what I mean. I think you guys know that. But anyway, man, we have a black one and we have a white one. Now we can certainly speculate about what all this is going to be and what exactly Jim is talking about when he says he's got something new and exciting that he's working on. But going solely off of this picture, that's all I'm going to talk about for this video. Uh, but that's certainly enough to, uh, you know, get us get us speculating and thinking about some stuff, right? So in the picture, we have a black guitar with a maple fretboard, or presumably maple, right? And then a uh, white guitar with a presumably an ebony board. Now, the black one is really cool because that looks just like the Before I Forget, uh, Before I Forget guitar, right, from the music video. And uh, he used that Charvel, um, you know, during the Volume 3 tour cycle as well, or one that looked exactly like it. Anyway, I thought that was really cool, man. I think it's cool because, you know, let's assume these are going to be new signature guitars coming out, right? I think what's cool is like, you know, it's uh, it's a callback to Volume 3. It's like a, a little throwback, a little tip of the hat to the Volume 3 era, you know what I mean? Uh, so I think that's kind of cool, you know? I think it's just like a nice little, like, um, throwback, but still bringing something new to the table. And it's not just another Fender guitar or whatever. It's just a new company, a new brand. Um, and it's just got like a fresh coat of paint with the Jim Root vibe, you know? Now, I personally like the white one with the ebony board. I just think white is just my personal favorite with a guitar. I think, I don't know, I just think it looks classier or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just a big fan of the white one on the right. But now one thing that uh, is certainly going to be a bit of a polarizing spec with these guitars is a floating Floyd Rose. Right off the bat, I think it's cool that uh, Jim's been on a Floyd Rose kick uh, because when he and I had the, uh, or I had the honor to hang out with him in 2019, we were talking about his Floyds um, with his Jazzmaster and I think he had a Strat as well. I know he definitely had a Jazzmaster with the copper pick guard um, and like, you know, he was, you know, on a Floyd Rose kick two years ago and it's funny how like we can assume that he's going to have some new guitars with some floating Floyd Roses. So something a little bit different from Jim um, in terms of a production guitar with his name on it. And I think that'll be um, resonating with a lot of players because a lot of players do love Floyd Roses and they love Slipknot and they love Jim. So it's just like another new thing um, that Jim and Charvel will be offering to the masses rather than just, you know, slapping on his name and having another variation of the other three signature guitars that he already has out. You know what I mean? I think it's cool. Something kind of way out of left field, but uh, still very Jim Root, you know? I think it's cool. One thing that I really love about these guitars is fretboard markers, man. Hell yeah, we got some DOS on the fretboard. And I said it a million times on this channel, I'll say it one more time. You know, I've been playing ever since I was, you know, before I was 10 years old, give or take. And, you know, I've been playing for like 18 years or something like that. Um, but I always always like fretboard markers and I don't necessarily know why other than the fact that it just helps me play better you know what I mean I guess I'm staring at the fretboard when I'm playing um, you know a lot of people say when you get older or when you play for a certain amount of time you don't ever look at the fretboard and while that's true to some degree I don't know man it's just like one I think it looks cool I think a fretboard with fretboard markers looks better uh, but also too, man, it just helps me play better. You know what I mean? So I just, I like the fretboard markers. Um, even though they're dots, man, I think it's just a, a little nice little, little added bonus that I'm certainly a huge fan of. And then the last thing we can talk about is he tagged EMG pickups. Now we can assume that these are his signature demonums. And uh, that's cool with me, man, because ever since I got my own set in my Jim Root USA Fender Strat, 
I haven't switched them out or swapped them out, and I love those pickups a lot. They're not as like pokey and fiery as like an 8160 type of vibe, but they're just bigger and like just 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 wider. It's the best way I could describe it, and I think a lot of people would just would describe that as well. Um, just a different vibe, that retroactive vibe, but uh, in a good way for sure. So I'll just say one more time, you know, nothing's confirmed going solely off of this picture. But now in terms of like where these would be made, if I was a gambling man, I would probably say they would be import models, probably Mexico, um, because Fender and Charvel and Jackson and all them do make several guitars out of Mexico. If I had to guess, again, just totally speculation. Um, and I think that's good, man, because that it allows um, younger players or even players that just don't want to shill out a ton of money, you know, can certainly afford these or afford both of them or whatever, you know what I mean? Myself included. Um, it's nice. It's a nice tip of the hat if, if and when they're made, you know, overseas or just made at a fraction of like a USA guitar. But that being said, if they are in fact made, um, you know, wherever and they are expensive, I think I still think they'll kill because, uh, you know, I just think... Anything Jim does is pretty much gold in my opinion and a lot of people's opinion. I love what he does with the guitar and what he does with like specking out a guitar. So regardless, no matter where they're made, I know they're going to do well. But again, if I was a gambling man, I'd probably say they'd be import models. And uh, I don't know why I really think that. It's just kind of like a gut feeling, I guess, you know. So ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it for this video. You know, it's like I said, it's only one picture and one Instagram story. So it ain't too much to talk about, but it's fun to speculate and it's fun to talk about gear and it's fun to talk about our favorite guitar players. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited, man. I'm really excited to see when these will be announced, where they'll be announced, etc., etc. If we do the math, the Jazzmaster was announced like late July of 2019 and then was available for Winter Nam 2020. So if, um, you know, the planets align and the timelines, timelines are the same, we could probably expect that, you know, same type of release schedule, I guess, you know, I don't know, totally speculating again, but uh, if I was a gambling man, again, I'd probably say that's when they'd be out next year, 2022, winter name 2022. So ladies and gentlemen, those are my thoughts on these two guitars, assuming they're they're going to be out. What if they're not? <laughs> what if I'm way off with this video? But I really think there are going to be some new guitars. Um, but... I like them because it's a tip of the hat to the Volume 3 era. It's something different. It's not from Fender directly. Um, and it's got a floating Floyd Rose and it's got some fretboard markers. And uh, yeah, it's just like to something totally different. But I'm a big fan of it at the end of the day. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's kind of it for this video. I'm kind of rambling a little bit. But uh, I'm just curious to hear what you guys have to think about this picture. Do you guys believe in my speculations? Do you disagree? What do you guys think this is all about? Is uh, Jim trolling us or, you know, is he, am I way off? I don't know. I'd just love to hear you guys' thoughts. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of here. That's going to do it for this video. Again, if you're brand new to my channel, please subscribe. I'm out of here. Thanks so much for watching and hanging out. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay metal. I'll see you guys next time. Later.